Hello guys, and welcome to another video, and I know I talked about some of um, Mario Party Superstars yesterday in my overall discussion of Nintendo's E3, but I did want to get into it a little more, because there is some things and some games that I wanted to compare it to, and this game seems like it's definitely going to be more of a return to the original form of Mario Party. I know Super Mario Party was definitely a return to the form, because it did bring back the original formula and everything, but it was kind of lackluster, and there wasn't really too much personality to it. I feel like it was too minimalistic, and, like, I mean, it had a lot going for it, but I feel like it did have some problems, since... Like I said, I did have a theory a while ago, and it kind of partially became true, because ND Cube was kind of testing the waters to see how a return the form Mario Party would work, and now they're actually returning to the original kind of style of it. Even though they're using the boards that were already existing from the Nintendo 64 era, they're still completely remastered and everything, and they look really nice and everything, and I mean, they can definitely make original boards in the style of like the 64 and GameCube era boards because I mean looking at this game we could definitely see that the boards look really good they're not grid based they, they didn't just like make them compact and everything and completely ruin them because that was like one of the problems with Super Mario Party they were grid based because they could um, work with partner play and everything and since this game probably doesn't have it and I really wouldn't care if it did, doesn't have it because I never played Partner Play in, um, or whatever that mode is in Super Mario Party, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's more of an actual return to the form, like, it does have the 10 roll dice block, so, I think that looks really good, and I feel like it has a lot more personality to it, and going into the things that make it better than the Top 100, the Top 100 if um, you don't know already, is my least favorite Mario Party game. Like, I like, I, <laughs> I um, hate it worse than Mario Party 10, and um, Mario Party 10 is my second least favorite since, um, I mean, I did think it had a couple redeeming qualities, like the Bowser mode I actually thought was kind of fun, and I mean, it, what, it, like, the mini games were still, like, eh, I guess uh, Mario Party the Top 100 had good mini games, but the thing about the Top 100 is that, like, even though it remastered the older minigames, it only had one single board. And it wasn't even a good board, too. It was, like, one where you all move around at the same time. Which is, um, I mean, I guess that's that mode is alright. Like, in, um, Star Rush, they did have that mode, but I think that was a side mode? I'm not sure. I might be wrong. But, um... Like, that's really the only thing you can do. Like, they're making it out to be, like, a classic return Mario Party game, but it doesn't even play like the originals, and it takes place on one board, and, I mean, the mini games, like, they remastered them, but I feel like they took out a lot of the personality of them. I mean, they did keep a lot of things, but I guess the mini games were the best part of that game. But, I mean, a Mario Party game is more than just the mini games. It's the boards themselves and the things that happen on the boards. And that's completely missing from the top 100. But Mario Party Superstars actually has the original boards, even though it's just five boards, which is actually more than Super Mario Party, which is, <laughs> which is another reason why it's better than Super Mario Party. So we're going to have five original um, N64 Mario Party boards that look like they have a lot of personality. And the board on the um, actual cover art, the box art, and the artwork and everything actually has an original character on it from the Nintendo 64 games, um, Woody, like the tree character on there. <laughs> like, I'm actually kind of surprised that they did that. I mean, I guess, like, with Mario games now, they're not really that generic anymore. I kind of started fading away around the beginning of the Switch era, and then Odyssey made a completely new standard for Mario, and Mario games have really been getting more interesting since then. So this game really doesn't look like the generic Mario game, because it seems like it has a lot of elements from the Nintendo 64 Mario Party games, since it, it kind of has some of the same designs, but they're just remastered and everything, and like some of the same characters and NPCs and stuff like that. Like one thing I noticed was the Sniff It, 
And, like, I'm... I mean, they could have just thrown in, like, a random shy guy there. Like, I mean, they don't even have a 3D model of a Sniffin. So I think that's really cool that they actually made a modern 3D model of the Sniffit so they could have it in this game. So that just shows how they're trying to remake the style of the Nintendo 64 games. And even, like, I know the UI is still that minimalistic Super Mario Party thing. They still went out of the way to have, like, the entire, like, font of, like, you are the superstar to be the Nintendo 64 style. Which is really cool, and I really like that touch. I feel like it has a lot of those little touches that the Nintendo 64 and GameCube era had. And it looks really good. It's like a mixture of the charm that the older Mario Party games had, and the quality of life that the um, su that Super Mario Party had with its UI and everything. And the online mode also looks pretty cool. I know they had an online mode in Super Mario Party but they added that two years after launch, and it only supported some modes. And since this is going to be more of a classic return, you could play all of the modes in multiplayer or online multiplayer, which I'm glad they're doing, and it looks really nice, and I can't wait to play this online. And I think they said you could do, like, matchmaking, so you don't have to... You could play with random people rather than your friends. Though I'd probably mostly play with friends, because I feel like Mario Party is more fun if you, like, get on a call with someone like on Discord or something and start playing it, which which is what I'm doing on Super Mario Party and everything, or in, eventually I want to play Mario Party Netplay too, which sounds pretty fun because I can play my favorite Mario Party game, Mario Party 6 on there. And one really good feature that they're fixing from Super Mario Party is the control options, because now you could actually play with a pro controller. like. I saw that they, you could do it with a Switch Lite and everything, and you can play it in handheld mode, but they're actually going all out with the controls. It's like supporting every controller, not just the single Joy-Con that Super Mario Party had, which was one of the major problems of the game. And I think that's really good because these mini games will probably, well, most of them will probably not support, um, like, motion controls, which is actually pretty good. I do think some of them will, like, I mean, there might be, like, a few from, like, Mario Party 8, um, and then 9 and 10 that will probably have, like, motion controls and stuff like that, but I'm fine with that, but uh, it, it's looking like it will be more of a traditional Mario Party experience, which I really like, and we really haven't had that fully since Mario Party DS, or Mario Party DS and 8, since they came out around the same time, which was, like, I think that was f almost 14 years ago. So, we really haven't had a proper return to form in so long, even though Super Mario Party is really fun, and I would consider it a return to form. I feel like it's kind of more like three-fourths of a return to form because of the lack of content in the game, but this game really seems like a full return to form, even though it has, like, five boards in it. Like, there's still... It still seems like they're gonna have five really good boards, like Peach's Birthday Cake is a classic, and Space Land is too, so we'll just have to see what the other boards are, and they look really good. And hopefully in the future, I I kind of don't really like the free update model. I mean, most of the time. I mean, I like I don't hate it as much as the beach does. I feel like it's justified in some cases, but not all cases. Um, like in Mario Golf, I'm, I'm not too opposed by the idea, because I feel like the content in the game so far looks really good. Like, I know, um, I know I'm kind of like, talk sidetracking from Mario Party at the moment, but I do think the courses look good in that game, and I do think the content is there. Um, I do wish it was a little more, but, um, with this game, I do feel like it would actually benefit. Like, I was on a stream yesterday with the beach, and, um, me and Ty the guy were talking about how it would actually benefit from this, because Mario Party is more of a game that you come back to than Mario Sports. Mario Sports is more of a game you play for a while, and you don't always come back to. I mean, I like to come back to Mario Golf games, because I like golf games. Um, so, but for most people, they'll just play it for a while, and then they won't really come back to it. But with Mario Party, it's kind of like Mario Kart, and people keep coming back to it to play with other people. And since this is going to be fully online, this is going to be more... Like, and since it's from the start, too, not just, like, a little update like Super Mario Party, since it's been, like, at launch and this game looks a lot more interesting 
than Super Mario Party and supports all modes and everything and will have more features. This really seems like it's gonna be a like a game that they can actually add like more content to. Um, maybe even through DLC, because I do think the content is there in this game, since it does have a hundred mini games, and I do think it looks really good and like, I feel like in the future, maybe they could do, like, a pack for $20 that includes, like, 50 more mini games, And then they have, like, from all the different games. And then includes, like, boards from the GameCube era. Let's say, yeah, they could do, like, one from each GameCube game. Since that would be, like, four boards, I think. Or maybe they could even add one from Mario Party 8 also, if they're gonna do a full five-board thing. So... Yeah, I think that would be interesting if they do that. I think, yeah, I think um, four boards from the GameCube era would be, like, a really good DLC thing, because I do think the content is there in this game. So, I think it would possibly benefit from DLC and everything, because the boards would probably be more reminiscent of the GameCube era, since the boards here have a lot of the features and charm that the Nintendo 64 era had. So it could be, like, a either a separate... Well, it wouldn't be really a separate mode. It would kind of be included, but like with another section, like GameCube boards. Since it does have, it does advertise that this game is going to be mainly mini games from the Nintendo 64 and GameCube era. So unless during the trailer they said, um, like the three shown off so far were the Nintendo 64 boards, and then they were going to have two others from the GameCube era, unless all of the boards were going to be for the Nintendo 64 era. I'm not sure. I do like boards from both eras, because it's, it's basically the same, like, Mario Party 1 through DS have kind of the same feeling with their boards, um, but the Nintendo 64 has its own kind of unique touch, but, um, yeah, I do really hope we get some more content from the GameCube Mario Party games, especially because they're advertising it. It does really seem like they're gonna do more with the GameCube Mario Party games, since, like, they are advertising that, like, a big chunk of the mini games are gonna be from the GameCube era. Like, it kind of makes sense, because, like, there were four Mario Party games on the GameCube. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, and Mario Party Superstars is definitely, the, um, a mar like, a big step up from Mario Party of the Top 100 and Super Mario Party. So, thank you guys for watching this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye!